so much controversy over <laughs> I know. I know. That sounds kind of twisted, but it is. It's really one of the cornerstones of Christianity. And they're sitting here talking about they didn't know exactly when it happened or if it did happen. Yeah, and uh, they said there's a theory that he it may have happened um, years before, and basically they linked up the death of the two. The two. Uh, the one was the person from 200 years ago, and this human. They linked them into one over the years. They just simply. They, uh, it's a PR campaign. Well. It's so, a, a convenience holiday. A convenience kind holiday. of like President's Day. They used to be Washington and Lincoln's birthday, then they changed it so into. They needed something to rally. Okay, you have a, rally the you troops. have a religion that's basically tanking, so you rally the troops by joining the one with another. I mean, here's the whole trick: is no one ever. There's no no one knows if any of this ever actually happened because the problem is the Bible is a combination of. Of, of books. Of books. And some of them were written before the fact, and some of them were written after the fact, and not a lot during the walking. What was written during the fact has been discredited and not happening. Remember, they discredited John. He was they, there. The gossip, uh, you know, so, but they discredited him. Um, so, but uh, over one million Muslims do not believe he was executed by the Roman army, but by the Catholics. Oh, interesting. By the Christians. Well, uh, I, I, I have to explain something to the Jewish people. The Christians were the Romans. Oh. They weren't the guys being fed. The ones that were actually being fed to the lions were actually the Hebrews. So, um, because they're the ones that walked around with, the, okay, the Christians were basically, you know, uh, I don't turn my other cheek, I kick your ass. Mm -hmm. uh, so, they were Spartacus and all of those people. They were those were which actually those is were Christians growing in popularity with the Game of Thrones and Spartacus yeah, and, and all those. And, and, and until the four years go here, here's uh, now we got the new one. Basically, there's a good one more for you. Now, I, I was just like, okay, until the fourth century, of um, Eastern Pentecost were the only two holy days that Christians observed. The only two. Yeah. Really? They're, okay, uh, Christians up until a certain time of history were like the Puritans, basically. They were narrow-minded in the less of these. Yeah. Easter Sunday, uh, until the 4th century CE, what does CE mean? Uh, I know. Centuries, uh, something, century, something, some cautious, um, it's basically, uh, it's, it's basically, an, uh, I do not be It's not flat. BC, okay. Easter Sunday was the main day of celebration. Formally recognized by the Council of Nicaea in 325, Pentecost Sunday was also observed as a less important holy day, seven weeks, 45 days after Easter. You know, that reminds me of Lent and yeah. Easter, right? Yeah. Okay. Other occasions related to Jesus' executions were generally, gradually added to the church calendar. Lent. Okay. Remember Lent? This is a period of spiritual preparation for Easter, which typically involves fasting, um, penance, and prayer. It was originally established by Christian groups um, as an interval ranging from a few days to several weeks. Um, it was eventually fixed in the 8th century CE as 40 days. Okay, what I'm thinking is, is if that, um, okay, okay, a lot of, um, uh, okay, Christians list everything as AD, which is basically after, after death. The death. And then BC, and then BC is before. before Christ. I think CE is probably the prop the properly technical term. Okay, and this is more Latin. Yeah. So the number forty days it's well apparently it's one of many magical numbers um, of religious significance in the Bible. And re it recalls that remember Moses forty days in the desert. He was lost in the desert. He had to go like forty miles. He couldn't miss the bloody thing. It's not I've been to the Sinai, there's not a lot of maneuvering room. Well, it's not like they had road signs. That one they basically, that one most people think is basically pure PR because you can't get lost in the Sinai Desert. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. I would think so. It's a desert. There's no food and water and stuff for people. Yeah, would they live on, oh, on that manna? No. And other magical numbers were 3, 7, 12, and 70. Ooh. 3 they and 7, were. right? 12 is 1 and 2, which is 3, and 70, which is 7 with a 0. Among Roman Catholics, Lent lasts for six and a half weeks before Easter, excluding Sundays. Among the Eastern Orthodox Orthodox churches, it is a full eight weeks because Saturdays and Sundays are not included. 
Okay, so typically it's like you give something up, like whether people, it's like you give up ice cream or you give up fish. That's why they have, especially in Christian communities, on um, during Lent, okay, Fridays, they don't eat meat. Yeah, but you know why Saturday and Sunday are not included? Why? Saturday is uh, Saturday is synagogue day and Sunday is church day. Uh, so they threw out those two days. Yeah, but on the other, the Eastern Orthodox, um, yeah, they toss two days out. They still toss two days. Okay, so it's like business days. <laughs> yeah, we got Ash Wednesday. This is held on, held on the first day of Lent. Which is Wednesday. which is often considered like the kickoff of Lent. And then here the, we the go. The countdown to Easter. Where, where you know what on? Oh, it's Ash Wednesday. These are really a whole bunch of ashes days. on there. Look at, yeah. look at all these new days that they've added. No, but a lot of them were there. Okay, wait a minute. There are Holy Week, the week before Easter Sunday, uh, the, otherwise known as Spring Break. <laughs> I know. What? I, I have this. Hold on. Ash Wednesday. Okay. No, Ash, Palm Sunday. No, we have Palm. I know. We've got, we've got to go down. We've got Ash Wednesday, Holy Week, Holy Monday, Holy Tuesday, Holy Wednesday, Monday, um, uh, where's it? Monday, Thursday, Good Friday. Well, okay. So Palm Sunday we knew about, which is the week before um, Easter, which is where they give the palm branches where which Christ comes in and they put the palms down, right? Yeah. Okay. That's always a good thing. I actually didn't know most of these things existed until I, I put this all together. Really? Last night. Yeah. Okay. Now, Holy Monday, I, this is a new one I was unfamiliar with that, which is it commemorates him cleansing the temple when he committed aggravated assault against money changers and other commercial interests. This is where this is where he gave that. This is where he gave the speech. Let you know. Oh, give unto Caesar, Caesar what is Caesar's. And to and to God what is God's. That's right. When they asked him about the taxes, and he asked him about the coin. Yeah. Holy Tuesday recalls Jesus' description of the disciples of the Mount of Olives and the destruction of Jerusalem. It sounds like, you know, when you're going through the stages um, for the yeah. rosary, right? Yeah. And then Holy... Oh, they're doing all the dates, like Monday, yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday. I actually put this all together for you. Ah, I'm, he, I'm, he loves watching this. Okay. Holy Wednesday, what's called Spy Wednesday? Recalls Judas' decision to betray Jesus in exchange for 30 pieces of silver. Oh, that traitor. <laughs> yeah. I, like I didn't know that Holy Wednesday. What's I, I like Monday. Mon 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 it's like a mundane, mundane day. Mundane, Monday, Thursday. It could go. I mean, basically, it could be. It could be like Monday, Thursday, uh, but it's Monday. And I get into trouble going, Monday, Monday. Oh. It but this is today. this is derived from Monday. Mondatum, which is commandment of God in John um, 13, verse 34 to 35. Okay. So for centuries people. It's Mondatum. Monday. Okay. So Friday, Good Friday, recalls Jesus' death on the cross. Fridays are well. I say Fridays are always good, right? You know, but they don't know why it's called good. So God. they think that God was morphed, morphed into good. God. Oh, it was God's Friday, then they called it Good Friday? Yeah. Uh, well, instead there's of God always with something you, lost goodbye. in the translation. This is what happens. I mean, if you do it around the room, you know how it gets lost in the yeah. room and people don't know what you say. Well, okay, talk about centuries. Yeah, actually, I worked on a Steve Allen show when we did that once, what? way back in the 50s, where he basically he, he picked all everybody that was on the show, you know, uh, Louis Nye, uh, Andy Williams. Tom Post and maybe Ava Gabor, and they would come out and he'd give one of them something to say, and by the time it got to the end, it would not end. And never. Out. Yeah. Okay, so he's enjoying this because this is all like totally new to me. I try to give her, okay, we try to do something different because if we do the same thing every year, there's no reason to do it the next year. I know. Okay, this is a fourth century manual, the apostolic a constitution is called Good Friday, a day of mourning, not a day of festivity, fest of joy. Ambrose, the fourth century archbishop, would be friend with the notorious scene of Hippo. Is that really Hippo? Before his conversion, called it the day of bitterness on which we fast. The, the, the Hippo is just a shortened version of like Hippola. Oh, I thought it was like for a hippopotamus. No, it's, 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 it, you know, like the Hippodrome. Oh, there was a Hippodrome in London, and there was yeah, a club. It was named after. See, people are like, it was a Roman person, Hippo, which is why they had the Hippo Dome. Holy Saturday, also known as Easter Eve, is the final day of the Holy Week uh, at a Lent. And Easter Sunday commemorates on Jesus' resurrection. In the early church converts were baptized into church membership on this day after a lengthy period of instruction. 
the tradition continues today in some churches. What do you mean in some churches? Easter Sunday. <laughs> you have I not mean, went to church lately who did this what? part. No, no and we're, we're not through yet. There's a, I got all of Easter this Easter Sunday. Yeah. I, I got a lot for you. Oh, wait. Maybe the tradition is in the early church where they converted into um, the... And I know, like in the Catholic Church, it's like on Easter Sunday you reaffirm your vows for Christianity, right? I know, so I like that Feast of Ascension. See, okay. It is a celebration of Jesus' ascension up into heaven, right? Yeah. It, it doesn't it, say, okay, this is described in Acts 1 9 as happening 40 days after his resurrection. Although we don't celebrate Ascension Day, although it's probably in No, it is celebrated in. Um, in, in Europe, though, Ascension Day is a, okay, uh, I do know that people, there are Catholics that get out of school for Ascension Day. Oh, really? And when I was younger, the, uh, the church, the people who were really Orthodox basically did get out for Ascension Day. Oh, so that, okay, they celebrate this 40 days after Easter. Remember that 40 theme? Yeah. Look. I think we got a lot of Powerball numbers. And that probably does not include weekends, I would presume. Just like no, no, Saturday, toss out Saturdays and Sundays. They don't count. It's like they were UPS delivery people. Okay. UPS delivery people. Or the U.S. Post Office. Okay. Now this one, so this is actually Pentecost, also known as Whit Sunday, is now celebrated seven weeks or slash 49 days after Easter Sunday. In other words, Feast of the Ascension was 40 days, this is 49 days. So nine days after the Feast of the Ascension is Pentecost. Which gives you the reason for the Pentecostal church. And religion. It's basically, they were created to celebrate. Where they speak yeah. in tongues. Yep. Okay. It recalls a violation, the visitation, not the violation. violation. The visitation. See what happens? He, he puts a little small, I like to blow them up. <laughs> of the Holy Spirit to 120 Christians, both apostles and followers. Yeah. And they spoke in tongues and foreign languages that they had not previously spoken. This reminds me of the Tower of Babel. Well, I can't um, do that. To the assembled crowd, what? I can't, I can't, I cannot speak in foreign languages or talk to myself. I do not speak great common Talibu. I speak in Deutsch. Come here, my dear. Um, and th and 3,000 were baptized and there was originally a Jewish festival which was called Pentecost because it was served after 50 days after Passover. But here's the important thing coming up, the, what? You know, the, like the Greek word for the 50 days of Pentecost. This is, this is the big thing, the, the new bit. Oh, this is usually regarded as the day of the birth of the Christian church? Is Pentecost Sunday? The, the Pentecost Sunday, the, the 50th day oh. the Christian religion was born. Isn't that something? Read that one before? No, I never have. And I noticed it's 50 days after Passover. It's not 40 days. Right. Uh, okay. Now we've got to get back to the date of Easter once again. Okay. That the date of Easter, you're curious, how is it determined? Because it changes every year. <laughs> yeah, so they can actually have it on a Sunday all the time. Um, it's reported, we call it convenience holiday. Yeah. Um, it is important to realize that it's not celebrated as, at the anniversary of Jesus' death and reported resurrection. The year of the execution is unknown, and estimates range from 29 to 33 CE. And so the anniversaries of the actual events go unobserved year by year. Yeah, yeah we kind of got that part. Yeah. And, and before we get this thing done, we're going to find out what the heck CE means. Yeah, and Easter Sunday falls on the first Sunday after the full moon after March 20th. Which the nominal means date of this it could have been the 23rd of March, mm -hmm. which is what? 